Hello, Navarro. Suck any good lately. What's wrong, Navarro? I think you like a big in your mouth. Ha ha ha. Page 23. The other boy played his way to benefit of talking about the what's the educational benefit of talking about that is that going to help someone on the SAT score as a former educator it is disheartening to see the kind of content that is allowed in schools these days and the kind of compelled speech that we are seeing from forced use of preferred pronouns to ensuring that children don't use the word boy and girl, or male and female in their sex ed classes. I've heard stories of cases where individuals have to use phrases like a person with ovaries, a person with testes. In this specific instance, the child was saying, hey, uh, I think they're just boys and girls. Why do we have to refer to them as a person with ovaries, a person with testes? And this child was disciplined for saying something about it. Meanwhile, many school boards are advocating for essentially pornography in their libraries and in the curriculum. The parental rights and education bill that was passed in Florida, which is dubbed by the left as don't say gay, is an incredibly effective bill to ensure that there is age appropriate and school appropriate content in the books. However, this bill is constantly attacked by the left as something that is somehow criminal for not wanting your kids to read books like the ones we just watched in this clip. Before we get into it, the man in this clip's name is John Amanchukwu. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He is a pastor, preacher, and activist, and we're going to watch a couple of clips from him to show what kind of content we're trying to ban from school, which, you know, 20 years ago wouldn't have been a big deal. It would actually be a ludicrous thought to think, hey, we should show an eight-year-old's pornography. But instead of listening to me talk about hypotheticals, let's look at some clear-cut examples. Hello, Navarro. Suck any good lately. What's wrong, Navarro? I think you like a big in your mouth. Ha ha ha. Page 23. The other boy played his way to benefit of talking about the what's the educational benefit of talking about that is that going to help someone on the SAT score good point you me kind get a shot of that she can care less that's a sign she needs to put down her sign for a second oh, you're putting me out for what for asking you to, ab to abide by the rules a board member held up a sign, but the audience couldn't hold up signs. This is tyranny, and we're dealing with a corrupt government system. He brings up an excellent point. What is the educational benefit of learning about this nonsense when most kids in America can't even read or do math at grade level? I don't have the exact figure on hand. I'll put a chart somewhere, but roughly 20%, only 20%, of children grades third through eighth are proficient in math and reading in CPS, that's Chicago Public Schools, 20%. But the education system prefers to focus on things like diversity and inclusion and sexuality instead of focusing on things that are important like reading and math. How about teaching children to have manners and to be good citizens? But no, there's a clear political agenda happening in the education system and it is detrimental to society. This book here, it's called It's Perfectly Normal. I'll read some of this for you. It says, after a bit, a person's <laughs> becomes moist and slippery and the clitoris becomes hard. After sir, a I, bit, a person's pastor, pastor, becomes gonna, erect, stiff, me. and larger. Pa pastor, Sometimes pa a bit of clear pastor, fluid that may contain pastor, a few sperm comes out of the tip of the <laughs> and makes pastor, it wet. Can we, sir, I'm sorry. I, Was it something I said? If you don't want to hear it in a school board meeting, why should children be able to check it out of the school system? Amen. We have perverts that are perverting our kids. And you all sit back smug in your chairs, but you don't want me to read it. Why? Does it bother you? Yes or no? You can't answer that question. You want to know why? Because politically speaking, you can't say that it's wrong. And you don't want me to read the filth because it exposes the truth. How dare you tell me to stop reading it? If you don't want to hear it, why should the children have to see it? Pastor, your time is, is, the time is up. Thank you. That makes two of us. Notice how the school board members completely ignore the topic at hand and say, this is too inappropriate. Get them off the stage. This consistently happens in pretty much every clip I've ever seen of somebody going and reading these kind of books in school board meetings. 
If it's too inappropriate for the school board, it's too inappropriate for the children. The fact that this is even an issue is mind boggling. We have so many leaders with weak spines. I understand that doing the right thing is not always easy, but this one seems pretty easy to make the decision that, hey, maybe children shouldn't be exposed to pornographical content by the age of five. Um, I'm here tonight to talk about a book by the name of George. I'm, I'm sorry, we're talking about, you're testifying on curriculum only. This is enclosure 22 is what you can testify on. Uh, this is based upon materials that are in the school system. Now this is not, this we're talking is, about curriculum is, tonight and we solely, te right. we, our testimony is only on this Correct. agenda item. And books don't pertain to curriculum? That is not in our curriculum. That right. is part of and our so, library. I've already been told that you all are going to shut me down and keep me listening. Okay, I'd ask to cut the mic, please. Because you all don't want to hear Thank what I'm saying. Thank you very I'm much. And, and, so here, and now I will ask you to step down. Children in Garfield Elementary have access to these, this, I'm, this book. I'm sorry, we're... The title of this book is George. I'm sorry, could we please... It have was someone... recently remained... Could we please leave the podium? Let him speak. Could be notified for trespassing to what? Their argument is that this book is not part of the curriculum, it's just in the library. However, if I recall correctly, there are many assignments where you read a book from the library and then report on it. It is directly intertwined in the curriculum. The books you have access to helps guide the curriculum. Parents, teachers, and all members of our society need to become aware of the severe problem that our education system has. I know that it gets talked about in the media, but only if you have the right media sources. Some sources on the left completely covers this up and says, oh, the right is, they're anti-gay. They just don't like to say gay. These books are totally fine to be in the classroom. These books are not fine to be in the classroom. The fact that our society has become so complacent and hypersexualized is genuinely sickening. I was always under the impression that despite a lot of us being pretty ignorant or falling victim to our vices from time to time, some more than others, we usually can come to a good consensus about what is best for the children because we recognize they're children. Right now, our society is pushing back against this, but there are still members of our society who are actively advocating for this. Clearly, there's a culture war happening now. As I've probably made pretty clear, we need to stop this nonsense, and we need to stop it now. If you want to make a difference, get involved in your local politics. Get involved in your local school board. See who you know. Talk to people about this. Spread the word. Let them know how egregious the education system is getting. Or is. What are your thoughts on these kind of books being in school? Does it disgust you too? Let me know in the comments. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Remember to stay informed, stay engaged, and keep the conversation going. Have a blessed day.